As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me with your love. All I have I give you Every dream and wish are yours Mother of Christ, Mother of mine Present them to my Lord Ave Maria Gratia plena Dominus tecum Benedicta tu As I kneel before you And I see your smiling face Every thought, every word Is lost in your embrace Ave Maria Gratia plena Dominus tecum Benedicta tu. Right book, ready. Sorry. <laughs> Before uh, we begin Mass, first of all, I'd like to welcome back Mark Burke. Welcome. And his brother and sister, both very welcome. Good to see you, okay. Today, we, uh, so in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. 
Today in the church we celebrate the assumption of Mary into heaven. It's an important feast day in the church. So today we give thanks to God for the example of Mary's life. We try to copy Mary's love and faith in God. Sometimes it's difficult for us to follow. So we ask God for his help again on our own journey through our life. You were sent to heal the the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory be to God the Father. Glory be to God the Son. Glory be to God the Spirit. Each is God, yet God is one. Let us pray. O God, you looked upon the Blessed Virgin Mary and raised her up to this wonderful grace that that your only Son was born in flesh from Mary and on this day is crowned with great glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the scroll of Revelation. The temple of God was opened and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen inside. Now a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun standing on the moon and with twelve stars on her head as a crown. She was pregnant and in labour. She shouted out in pain. Then a second sign appeared in the sky. A huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns. And each head had a crown. The tail waved through the sky and threw one third of the stars to the earth. The dragon came and stood in front of the woman, waiting to eat the child as soon as it was born. The woman gave birth to a boy, the son that would rule the world with an iron rod. The baby was quickly taken up to God and to his throne. The woman escaped into the desert to a place that God had prepared to keep her safe. Then I heard a loud voice from heaven God has won. God's salvation has come from heaven. God has shown his power as king. Now Christ has his authority. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. 
The queen stands at the right side of the throne. Response. The queen stands at the right side of the throne. The daughters of kings are with you, Lord. On your right stands a queen in gold. Response. The queen stands at the right side of the throne. Listen to me, daughter. Forget your people and your father's family. The king is your Lord. Adore him. Response. The The queen queen stands stands at the right right side side of of the the throne. throne. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from death, the first person of all that have died and the first of all people that will be raised from death. Death happened because of one man, Adam. In the same way, the resurrection from the dead will happen to people because of one man, Christ. In Adam, all of us die. In Christ, all of us will be raised to life. First, Christ was raised from the dead. Then after, Christ comes again. All those believers that belong to him will be raised to life. After that, the end will happen. Christ will destroy all rulers, authorities and powers. Then Christ will give the kingdom to God the Father. Christ must rule as king until he puts all his enemies under him. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. God will put all things under Christ's control. And after all things have been put under Christ's control, then he himself, the Son, will put himself under God's control, then God will rule completely over all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Mary was taken up into heaven. All the angels rejoiced. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Mary went quickly to a town in the hill country of Judah to visit Elizabeth. Zechariah lived there. Mary went into the house and she greeted um, Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. Elizabeth 
was uh, filled with the Holy Spirit and said, You, Mary, are the most blessed of all women, and blessed um, is the baby in your womb. Why did you come here to honour me? You who are the mother of my Lord. When I heard your greeting, the baby inside me leapt with joy. Yes, you are blessed because you believed the Lord's promise. Mary said, My soul praises the Lord. My heart is glad because God is my Saviour. He remembers me and I am his, his humble servant. Yes, from now on, all people will say that I am blessed because the Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. In the past, God has, um, he has always shown his mercy to all who honour him. God shows his pow the power of his arm and he condemns proud people. He removes kings from their thrones and raises up the humble. He gives good things uh, to, the, to, the hung, to the hungry and rich people he sends away with nothing. God keeps the promise that he has made. He has come to help Israel. He remembers to show mercy to Abraham and to his uh, descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think that today is an important feast in the church. Mary wasn't special. She was the same as you and me. Now, people of other beliefs, they sometimes ask me as a Catholic priest, why do you hold Mary? Why is she so important in your church? So I tell them, it's because of Mary's reaction to God. God sent the angel Gabriel to talk with Mary, to ask her to do something very special. But before the angel came to her, nobody knew her knew her name nobody only her family and maybe uh, her, uh, her friends and neighbours after the angel Gabriel visited her everything changed everything in Jewish culture culture at that 
time. If a woman was found to be with child with no husband, she would be stoned to death. Mary didn't need to think about that. God had asked her to do something and her her faith in God was so powerful. She said yes. I think that sometimes God sends people into the world to become an example for all of us. Mary is one of those people chosen by God to do something very special, to become the mother of Jesus. If you look in the Bible, in the Scriptures, there's very little written about Mary. We know the story of Christmas, yes. And then when Jesus was 13, 13 years old, you hear that of Jesus staying in Jerusalem when mum and dad were going home and they couldn't find Jesus. So mum and dad, they came back here to Jerusalem looking for Jesus. But after that story, I can only think of two other times when we hear about Mary. One, the wedding uh, feast of Cana. Mary goes to Jesus and says to him, they have no wine. And Jesus says to his mother, Why come to me? My time has not arrived yet. Ask myself, How? Because this was the first miracle that Jesus ever worked. So how did Mary know? How? Maybe she couldn't have known that Jesus would change uh, water into wine. But Mary knew that Jesus would fix it, make it right. There was a, uh, there was a problem and Jesus was going to make it right. So he changed uh, water into wine. Third time that we hear about Mary. And the next time is when she is standing watching Jesus on the cross. So we know very little about her really. But we know that Mary was always there with Jesus, being a good mother, bringing him up, teaching him the things that he needed to know. Being a good mother, supporting him, supporting and helping him. Mary, I think, is given to all of us as a perfect 
example of how we should live our, our own lives. Trusting in God, having faith strong, especially in difficult times. If we can follow the example of Mary, we will be doing okay. Because if we follow the example of Mary, she will lead us to Jesus. Because that's what Mary did. She showed people Jesus, her, her son. Jesus will show all of us the way to God himself. And Jesus. They become a perfect example for all of us. The problem is that sometimes we forget about Jesus and Mary. So when people ask me, why does the church hold Mary as so important a person? It's easy. She had amazing, amazing faith in God. She gave birth to Jesus. She didn't care what the people around her were going to think. She said yes to God. Sometimes we need to do the same. When we are asked to do difficult things when we are in need turn to God say yes I will follow everything that you want me to do that's the important example of Mary to the world I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell and on the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. So in prayer now, we turn to God and ask him to listen to all the needs of our own lives. God calls us to follow him. Let us offer all our prayers to him, now confident that the Father will always be merciful. Respond, stay with us, Lord, on our journey. We pray for peace in the world. We pray especially for the people in Afghanistan, people in Haiti because of the earthquake, and the people in Plymouth because of the shooting. Respond. Stay Stay with with us, Lord, Lord, on on our our journey. journey. We pray for the people in Greece, 
those who have lost their loan, home and livelihood. Respond. Stay with, with us, Lord, Lord on, on our journey. journey. We pray for all young people as they receive their examination results. May God the Father give them the vision of the Kingdom of God and we pray that they will use their intelligence, ability and gifts for the common good of all. Response. Stay Stay with with us, us, Lord, Lord, on our our journey. journey. We pray for those who have died recently. Chris Potter's cousin Tony, as well as those whose anniversaries occur at this time, that their sins will be forgiven and that they share in the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Respond. Stay Stay with with us, Lord, on on our our journey. journey. Let us ask Our Lady, assumed body and soul into heaven, to join her prayers with ours. Hail Hail Mary, Mary. full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father in heaven, we ask you to listen to our prayers that we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we pray, accept the sacrifice and praise that we celebrate on the assumption of the Holy Mother of God, lead us to your pardon and make us strong in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Today, on this feast day of the Assumption of Mary, we give thanks for the example of her wonderful example. We wait now for the coming again of Mary's Son Jesus to save us and to raise us up into heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So now, with all of the angels and the saints, we praise you and acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts that we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered uh, willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in the same way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of, uh, of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into, uh, into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. So now, at the command of Jesus and formed through his own teaching, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
God fills me with joy, hallelujah. His holy presence is my robe, hallelujah. My soul now glorifies the Lord who is my Savior. Rejoice for who am I that God has shown me favor. God fills me with joy. Alleluia. His holy presence is my robe. Alleluia. The world shall call me blessed and ponder on my story. In me is manifest God's greatness and His glory. God fills me with joy. Alleluia. His holy presence is my robe. Alleluia. For those who are His friends and keep His laws as holy, His mercy never ends and He exalts the lowly. God fills me with joy. Alleluia. His holy presence is my robe. Alleluia. But by His power the great, the proud, the self-conceited, the kings who sit in state, are humbled and defeated. God fills me with joy. Alleluia. His holy presence robe. Alleluia. He feeds the starving poor. He guides His holy nation. Fulfilling what he swore, long since in revelation, God fills me with joy. Alleluia. His holy presence is my robe. Alleluia. Then glorify with me. The Lord who is my Savior, the one, the Holy Trinity, forever and forever, God fills me with joy. Alleluia. His holy presence is my robe. Alleluia. few announcements. This coming Tuesday, 11 o'clock, uh, Mass here for the deaf. On the newsletter, you might see that I'm at a funeral at the same time. That's not true. If you look at the date, that's the week after. Okay. So Mass here, Tuesday, 11. Uh, join us if you can. From next Sunday, the lockdown uh, is being opened. 
So the ropes in between uh, the benches, they will be taken away. Um, the church has asked all of us to carry on uh, using masks where possible. We will, uh, we will have masks at the church door as usual as well as the gel for washing your hands. Okay. Um, please, it's your responsibility now to, uh, to continue to be uh, safe. 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 Okay. So, what else? Uh, the, the votive candles on either side, they will be available next Sunday. Okay. And there is no need to sign in when you come and arrive. Okay. All gone. So, let us pray. Lord, our God, we share in your heavenly table. We beseech your mercy that as we honour the assumption of Mary, the mother of God, we will be freed from all problems. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go now to love and to serve the Lord. One other thing. Speaking to the ladies who organise Sunday coffee. Maybe next Sunday. Yes. If not next Sunday, then the week after. Uh, definitely. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marion. Happy birthday to you. God's blessings on you. God's blessings on you. God's blessings, dear Marion. God's blessings on you. Hey.